Hi, welcome to half Ass Reviews. My name is Alex, and today we're going to take a look at the Invisible Shield by Zag. I picked this up at Best Buy for about 20 bucks. It's just the front, but for my Skyrocket. You know that. Uh, some of the things that come with it, it comes with a cleaning cloth. So before you apply the screen protector, you can clean off your screen. It comes with a very nice rubber squeegee, so you can squeegee off any bubbles, any water, anything like that. It comes with a little applicator, the liquid. It's an application solution. You just spray it on. Um, it comes with instructions, which are fairly straightforward. You know, I, I when I was initially um, installing this, I had a great deal of trouble trying to get it on. It took me a good 30 or 40 minutes because every time I would apply it and try to line it up, it would slide, and then it would line up, and then it just it was just a big mess. Eventually, I got it. Um, unfortunately, then I got I dropped it once or twice, and I got some lint on it, so now it's trapped under my screen, um, which is the case for any. So I mean, you could see it. Right there, right there. Oh, look at some. This is definitely one. But I mean, when your screen's on, you don't really see it that much. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and you don't really notice it. It adds a nice feel to the screen. Um, it's not really fingerprint re um, proof, but it definitely reduces some fingerprints. I noticed the screen on the Skyrocket would, was a fingerprint magnet. It drove me insane how oily it got and everything. This seems to cut it down by a little bit. Um, doesn't feel like it affects the phone at all. It definitely, I could, it definitely feels like it's uh, a coating, like a kind of rubbery feel. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels like this is going to be a good thing to have on the on the phone. I mean, it doesn't really affect anything performance-wise. Nothing. Nothing at all. Everything feels smooth. The only thing that I did notice, it might just be me, is doing any pinching to zooming. Like in maps, it doesn't always do it that well. It kind of seems like it lags a little bit. But other than that, see, it seems to be doing it right now. It doesn't want to zoom in as fast as it should be. There's only minor gripes, but other than that, it doesn't really affect the performance of the phone. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this a 7.5. Uh, two gripes are the installation and the cost, but the only upside to this is it does have a lifetime warranty, so if this should get damaged, all you have to do is send the, send the screen protector back and you get a, a free one. You have to pay for shipping and handling, but that's pretty good. For a lifetime on your phone, you can get free screen protectors. So. I would recommend it other than those two gripes. If you like this video, subscribe, um, comment, like it, do whatever you have to do, and have a good day. See you guys later.